Uh, dear friends, today I am going to speak on two important infectious problems that we face in ICU. One is on HIV infection and then little bit on tuberculosis in ICU I will be covering. So, the objective of I mean this talk would be that we would understand the, the pathogenesis of HIV and uh, the immune suppressions because of the HIV infection, the impact of antiretroviral therapy to HIV infected patients and on opportunistic infections, the survival benefit of uh, and the chronic comorbidities seen in HIV infected patients and when to prescribe anti-HIV medications when somebody has been diagnosed to have HIV infections in ICU. I will be also touch upon drug-drug interactions because I feel that the, the drug-drug in, uh, interactions are very important aspect of uh, the critical care medicines and many of us we are missing the important concerns with drug-drug interactions. So, I will uh, touch upon little bit on drug-drug interactions. Then the outcome of critically ill HIV infected patients and the ICU care in patient with tuberculosis. So, this is just to show you the burden of HIV globally. Like we have almost 35, uh, 3.5 million people with HIV infections which includes adults as well as the pediatric HIV populations. And if you look at uh, this, uh, the, the, the slides from WHO, the African countries and the India, these are the two, uh, the geographic region where the HIV is much concentrated. We should know about how the HIV is being transmitted because there are several myths about HIV transmission. We should understand that HIV is mainly transmitted by the sexual route. This could be either heterosexual or this uh, could be either homosexual. So, this is predominant mode of uh, HIV transmission. The another important routes which are now less common are the mother to child HIV transmission, the, the infected syringe and needle uh, leading to the HIV transmission and the blood and blood products can transmit HIV infection, but we know that the blood safety has improved. The, the needles uh, and the syringes, I mean, uh, they are being used disposable. The only scenario where you may get HIV infection through infected needles and syringe would be the IV drug abusers, where they are, I mean, sharing the same needle and same syringes and injecting into their venous system. And they are transmitting not only HIV, but the other, uh, the blood borne infections like hepatitis B and hepatitis C. The mother to child HIV transmission is now not a concern because with the effective anti-HIV medication, we can reduce the mother to HIV transmission nearly to less than 1%.